the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 353, Hebrews 11 to 13. Learn towards Jesus, the finish line. When we imitate the forefathers of faith, look up to Jesus and endure the temporary suffering, we can produce fruit of righteousness and peace. First point, the light of Hebrews clarified the history of Israel with one word, faith. Hebrews chapter 11 is all about faith. In order to emphasize faith in God, the writer of Hebrews in chapter 11 stressed the word faith multiple times and claimed that one cannot please God without faith. The writer clarified what faith is by tracing the history of Israel. First, Abel made his offering to God with faith. Second, Enoch pleased the God with his faith and walked with God. Third, Noah constructed the ark with faith. Next, the patriarchs also lived by faith in God. Moving on to after prehistory, first, Abraham obeyed God and moved to the promised land, and Sarah obeyed and was able to conceive Isaac. Second, Isaac, Jacob, Isa, and Joseph all continued to obey God. Next, many people pleased God with their faith after Exodus. First, Moses pleased God with his obedience by leading God's people into Canaan. Second, Joshua pleased God by obeying. Next, Gideon, other judges, and Samuel also pleased God with their faith. The light of Hebrews unraveled the history of Israel and then declared the importance of entering the kingdom of God through faith. Second point, the light of Hebrews encouraged the readers to look to Jesus and obey. The light of Hebrews encouraged the readers to follow their ancestors in faith and to look to Jesus. The main message was to look to Jesus. This concerned whether they kept their faith or strayed away, and the light of moreover linked this to the final day and victory. The light of Hebrews encouraged the readers like a father encouraged a son, and thought that the current persecution would follow with God's good things and to persevere with faith. The light also encouraged the readers not to leave Christ and to live peacefully with Christians in their holiness. The writer warned that if they left Christ, they would not be given a chance to repent. Thus, they were to keep their faith until the very end, no matter what. Third point, the light of Hebrews warned that if they neglected Jesus' gospel, which was beyond Moses' law, they would not be able to avoid God's anger. The light of Hebrews mentioned that the Jews regarded Moses bigger than Jesus. However, the light stressed that Jesus was above Moses, and if they neglected Jesus' gospel, they would not be able to avoid God's anger. When God gave the laws on Mount Sinai, the land shook, but when he gave Jesus' gospel, the heavens also shook. The writer here referenced the words in Haggai. The writer stressed to keep their faith and to not leave Jesus Christ. Fourth point, the writer of Hebrews taught how to serve God willingly and to live as Christians. The light of Hebrews taught how to live as Christians and how to live whilst willingly serving God. First, they were to love their brothers. Second, they were to take on visitors. Third, they were to consider those who were locked or abused. Fourth, they were to live a holy life. Fifth, they were not to love money but to be grateful.
Fifth point, the light of Hebrews advised those who were living among persecution to learn from the first generation of the gospel era. The light of Hebrews stressed the people to keep their faith strong by firstly following in the example of the first generation Christians. Second, they were not to be tempted by false teachings. Third, they were to follow in Jesus and to go towards Jesus. Fourth, they were to always praise and sing to God. Fifth, they were to carry out good deeds and to share between their neighbors. Sixth, they were to obey their leaders in church. The writer ended his letter by asking for prayer. Then, the writer blessed them and said the final wishes. Before ending the letter, the writer of Hebrews delivered the news that Timothy had been locked in prison but had been released and afterwards had traveled far for a mission and had returned. The letter ends on a hopeful note that many evangelists were spreading the gospel despite hardship and persecution and told the readers to greet and encourage one another in Christ. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.